Yeah, I want to go over this uh, Velman pocket generator. It's a one megahertz generator, and I got this liter um, frequency counter. It's uh, LDC eight twenty two. It's pretty accurate. And I don't think let's see. Can you read that? Probably. Well, it's set on two hundred forty hertz, and we get two hundred forty hertz right on the nose. Damn good. Damn good. So. I'm going to set it on something else. It's 550. I don't know if that's coming out right. There it is. See 550. And got to wait for it to count, count over. Should do its thing. Five forty nine point nine. It might go to five fifty exactly. That's pretty damn accurate, though. That's pretty damn accurate. The only problem is you really can't use this as a zapper because it's um, seven point eight volts point to point. Like it's putting it. Look well, here, five fifty. It's right on the nose. It's right on the nose. It's, but it's seven point. You can see that that says seven point. Say seven point eight volts point to point. So it's actually half of that. So when it's saying point to point, that's 3.9 volts up. And it's a square wave, it's not positive offset. This would be cool if it had more power to it for a zapper, but it don't. It don't have that power. So let's see if we got we'll bring it up. I'll bring it up to a higher frequency. I forgot I'd post this because you know I was curious if this cheaper stuff was actually really accurate. So that's 7,600 hertz. You know, if this had an amplifier, but then again, the amplifier might ruin the cycle, whatever the, uh, you know, the duty, the, um, what do you call it, the score wave, the crispness of the score wave. Well, let's, uh, let's see, you know, it might, it looks like 7,600 hertz, 0.6. But let's give it a little bit and see if it goes and settles down. But even if that's not, if it doesn't, that's still pretty damn good. Considering this is a, this device has a battery in it that, you know, it just charges up off the USB. And it's just a 1 megahertz oscillator. That's, uh, that's pretty damn accurate. That's not bad. That's not bad. It's got a pretty close, it's pretty close. So, you know, I was looking at the My Zapper. The My Zapper is like a lot more accurate than this, but this is not strong enough to be a Zapper. That's the problem. You know, if it was, it'd be pretty cool. It'd be pretty cool. So look at the size of this puppy. It's small. Yeah, so it's it's off just a hair when it gets up that high. Uh, let's see if I bring it up some more. Just curious about this deal. Let's bring it up. Now, you know, it, just the only problem is this thing doesn't have as much use because, so 37,900 hertz, it's just that it's not strong enough to be a zapper. Man, this would make a hell of a zapper if it was. You know, because if it just, if it put out 20 volts point to point and it was all positive offset, 20 volts point to point would actually mean um, 20 volts up. So it's 37,903, 37,900. That's, that's pretty damn close, man. That's not bad. That's not bad, actually. I think this this isn't that much money. It's a little over a hundred bucks. It's got a battery in it that recharges and everything. It's portable. It's not bad. It's not a bad little function generator. Now I guess if you use this with some kind of amplifier, you could probably use this like a zapper. But the only problem is the amplifier would take up space, and you'd have to have battery for the amplifier. And the other thing on that deal is, well, this is square wave. It's not, it's, that's still useful. It's not positive offset like a Holden Clark zapper would be. 
But the other side of it, though, you know, it gets you some kind of ideas. And, you know, you never know. Someday in the future, there might be something like this coming out. And um, anyway, just want to post because I have this instrument and I was curious to how accurate this little generator is. It's not too bad, actually. It's not too bad. It's the Velman, the HP G1, 1 megahertz pocket generator. And, uh, you know, get, it's still not too bad. I mean, it's still pretty damn close. That, you know, as far as percentage error rate, that's like very, very minor. I'm talking 37,903, so I don't know. Very minute percentage error rate. So, anyway, um, pretty cool little device. When you're down at the lower end frequencies, it seems to be far more accurate. Um, let me see if we bring this up way up. I'm just curious, like, what do we do to um, bring the steps up? You got to move these buttons around and get the steps up. Bring it way the hell up. You know, I'm just curious. Say it was around a somewhere around one of the Holder Clark frequencies. Oh well, that would actually be above it. Say, well, that, that might be one of hers. I'm not sure, but that's like pretty much that's about the limit how high she goes. On our frequencies, that'd be 412,000. Like I said, this is only putting out in one direction. Like you got a half that. That's 7.82 point to point. So that's actually three, 3.9 volts up. So not enough to really do the job if you were going to use this for an application for, you know, a contact device like a zapper. It just wouldn't work. But so it's 412,000. Looks like it's 412,000 uh, th and 34.2. That's not 341. That's 412,000 34.1. Actually, very very accurate though. And actually, if you were using something like this, and it was about this accurate, this would problem is it doesn't have enough power to work as a zapper. But the concept is pretty cool. The concept is pretty cool. So anyway, but the point of this video was I have this uh, decent, well, it's actually a pretty good quality uh, frequency counter. It's in like new shape. It's used, It's but it's, you know, it's good. It's accurate. And I just want to see how accurate this little pocket generator is. It's, it, it's pretty damn accurate. So, you know, if you have this little puppy and you want to test some things with it, um, it's very very useful it's it's not bad it'll work for you in a lot of situations and uh, it's very handy to have it's very small pocket size fits in your hand got a rechargeable battery works off a of USB and it's got a it also has the uh, other connection where you have like the wire leads instead of using the the actual cable so it's pretty damn good